How do you get from one universe to more than one universe? First of all, let, let's try to understand how to get one. Okay. Because, because what Alan did, uh, um, he uh, suggested an idea how to make the universe big and everything, etc. But then when these bubbles in his universe, when the universe start this vacuum state, whatever energetic states start decaying, it produces bubbles, bubbles start colliding. Well, wait, wait, let me stop you there. So there's this energy, yeah. and the energy is pushing everything out. And then in, in Brian's movie, Periodically, the energy seems to like take a, <gasps> it seems to just sigh here and there. Right. So the energy level goes down here, but not here, here, but not here, here. And every time this repulsive energy thing sort of gives up a little space, that's yeah. where you get a universe? Yeah, well, uh, that, that's uh, how you get an interior of the universe. You see, in Alan's picture, you have the universe like this Swiss cheese, and then the bubbles appear, and the bubbles collide. And after they collide, uh, Kind of they disappear maybe, but the universe unfortunately after that became inhomogeneous. And then I had my own night like, like Alan's, except for this was a night when I was, uh, well I brought the phone to my restroom because this was the only place in, in my uh, home where I could not, uh, I would not wake m my son. So I would call to some of my colleagues, look I have an idea, that uh, is it stupid or not? Because what Wait, may- Wait, so, so you had your inspiration, rushed to the bathroom, hid your phone? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a good I, story. I, I had my inspiration a little bit before, <laughs> but what, what is important that it did not stop after I went to the restroom. And I went to the restroom, not for the reason you suspect me, but for the reason that I needed to call my colleague to check whether what I'm thinking is stupid or not. Okay? And he said, no, I don't think that it is stupid. And then, and, and, and then I wake up. Wait, wait, wait. So, so do, do you like? Do you have to teach, say something mathematical, or do you say, "I'm going to tell you something"? Do you think I'm crazy, no. or did you just no, say? No, no. It, it, it was pretty mathematical. As mathematical uh, as goes through the phone. Okay. So, but, 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 but uh, anyway, what happens in the end? I just wake up my wife and say, "Look, I, it seems that I know how the universe was created." <laughs> Okay. So, it, That's one big trip to the bathroom. I, <laughs> I guess we'll all try late. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, but uh, not, not each time so successful. Uh, so here, here the, the idea was this. You have many of these bubbles, but then these bubbles may continue expand, well, internally. And when uh, the, well, when you have this womb, when this energy goes down, they still continue expanding. And as a result, you do not see these parts, this, well, this wall of the bubble and that wall of the bubble colliding with each other because the interior grows so large that you do not see the catastrophe here. You only get the benefits of internal part expanding. So then you get smooth ending of inflation, this, slower roll and everything like that. Small ending of inflation inside one balloon, okay? In our so, let me, so, I mean, so I, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to translate you back to myself because this is hard for me. So in my universe, there's a certain logic that takes up and things expand around me and they seem to be expanding endlessly. Yes. And there's a sort of smoothness to the creation in my universe. But if my universe is over here and Nick's universe is over there, so I leave my universe and the space between us between his universe and mine, so I'm a bubble, Nick's a bubble, and the space between us is growing very, very fast. So our universes are getting further and further and further away. Mine's okay, his is okay, but look, we're getting, is that, um, is that what you're it, saying? It, it was, well, not complete story, because if this would be so in the first version of inflationary theory, then your universe would be empty, okay? So what happened is that, it is not only that both of your universes is uh, okay, but because of this smooth womp and expansion of yourself, not only of the distance between your and Nick's universe, but what happens around you, then you have a big part of the universe for, to occupy for yourself. It was like peaceful co uh, coexistence. Like I was in Russia, Alan was in the United States. We had kind of problems, okay, so now, 
what if our country, Russia, well, right now in the US, okay, expand exponentially, and then US expand exponentially, and just not hurt each other on the boundary, but just expand on all their own resources. That's what we suggested for the universe to do, 